So I already briefly talked about rate laws in a previous video, but I wanted to go more in depth on the rate law. So this is chapter three of <clears throat> this book, Elements of Chemical Reaction Engineering by Fogler. And that many reaction rates can be written as a function of concentration and a rate constant. So basically they would look like this. So your rate is equal to some rate constant multiplied by, and that's uh, multiplied by some function of CA, CB, etc. And <clears throat> so for the power law models and the elementary rate laws, let's first of all assume that you have a reaction that looks, well, Sorry, let's assume that you have, that you've determined a, you have a rate law that looks like this. So say you have this reaction and so you've determined that your rate law looks something like this. <coughs> so the power law model assumes that your rate law is a product of the concentration of the species raised to a power. And so the re so the they have this thing called reaction order, and the reaction order refers to the power, so reaction order, so then you would have for this one alpha, which is with respect to A, beta with respect to B. So then the overall order for this reaction would be N equals alpha plus beta. <clears throat> so, the, for instance, if you have a, so a zero order reaction would look like this. And a first order reaction would look like this. So there's no, so this would be one. A second order reaction look like this. and et cetera. So, uh, so then, so that's the power law model. So then uh, elementary reaction is one that involves a single step and the stoichiometric coefficients in that reaction are identical to these powers in the rate law. So then this, so then this would be an elementary reaction because the stoichiometric coefficients are the powers in this. And so that's the case with a lot of reactions, but it's not always the case. And so these are these things that are normally determined experimentally. And so for so for so there can be non-elementary rate laws, so <clears throat> so an example of a non-elementary rate law would be like the synthesis of phosgenes. So that would be CO plus CL2 to COCL2. And so the, the rate law for this is RCO equals K C C O C Cl2, 3 half. So then the overall order of this is N equals 1 plus 3 half. So it's 5 halves overall. 
Rate laws can also be written in terms of partial pressures instead of concentrations. So this is off there. So for gas, for gas solid catalyzed reactions, the rate law it the rate law is almost always written in partial pressures. So for instance, one example of that would be hydromethylation of toluene. So that would be C six C five. C H three plus H two catalyst C six H six plus C H four. And so then for this one the rate of disappearance of toluene is R T is K P H2 Pt over 1 plus Kb Pb plus Kt Pt <coughs> and so in order to express the in order to express the rate law in terms of concentration rather than partial pressure, then you can substitute partial pressure using the ideal gas law. So you would use P, I, C, I, R, T. <coughs> so basically the whole point of all of this is that the reaction orders can't be determined from stoichiometry. They uh, they pretty much require looking at literature or doing experiments.